Good evening. Welcome to tonight's concert. Thank you for joining us online if you're doing that. Um, I'm glad to see you are all socially spaced. This is good. Thank you very much for that. Um, I'm not sure exactly how strict we needed to be about that, but if you're sitting pretty close to the right seats, that's great. Here's Chamber Orchestra. There are people who don't have a program, so I will announce the pieces we're playing. Uh, this is a movement from a Haydn string quartet, the finale from the Haydn Sunrise Quartet, in fact. And this is Chamber Orchestra.
We already did that part, remember? Okay. Um, Cellos, are you all like able to keep your cellos in place? You know, uh, we had gap tape over there. Okay. Cool, I'm glad we checked. Okay, our first piece for concert orchestra tonight is a fugue from a Mozart string quartet. Uh, you may hear several fugues this evening. A fugue is something where different parts get the melody that is very similar, but not exactly the same. A canon, which would be also a round, is exactly the same notes. The fugue is different notes, but a very similar pattern. So anyway, this is the fugue from, I don't know, one of the Mozart string quartets. You guys hear Our next piece on the program is from Haydn's creation. This is called Achieved is the Glorious Work. And it's originally for a choir of thousands and brass players and timpani and everything, but this is all you get right now.
So we work on to work from place to our final tune. I have a tradition established where I stumble through the orchestra handing out flowers to the graduating seniors. These seniors put up with me when they were sixth graders and every day for their high school careers, except for when we were home with COVID. Um, and I don't think they missed me all that much during that time, but that's not the conversation for today. Uh, they're wonderful people. I'm going to talk about the people from here and the people from Symphony, and it sort of will sound very similar because they're all wonderful people. Um, I'm sorry, you have to hear some of these things twice. Uh, I'm going to try not to forget anyone as I do this. I'm very proud of the work that they've done. I'm proud of the leadership that they've shown here. Those who've stayed with Concert Orchestra have been good leaders. They've been positive members of the group. They've helped the younger players figure out a little more about what life at the high school is like. Um, I'm going to miss them. Anyway, let's start over this side. We have in the cello section, Aiden Walling. In the violas, we have Grace Vesper. In the violins, we have Sam Funk. Mary Grace Gepardi. Heidi Gander. Sarah Lolly. And Julian Slider. And our final piece for concert orchestra will be the second movement from Mahler Symphony No. 1, which is also written for a larger group than this, but uh, it's a lot of fun. It's sort of a country dance, and it gets faster uh, at the end and is exciting and hopefully not too exciting, and hopefully we're all getting faster at the same rate, but we'll find out. Well,
Uh, this year, Mrs. Benz, my middle school colleague, uh, is retiring, which is strange. She's way too young to retire because I remember her from when we were both in high school, and I'm really still very young, so, you know, it's way too early for that. Anyway, we're very pleased for Mrs. Benz to be able to retire. Are you here tonight, Mrs. Benz? Yes, she's here. Mrs. Benz, everybody. For as long as I have been in Clarence, which is just 25 years now, um, and a little bit before that, she has been supplying people to the high school who are prepared, very solidly set up fundamentally. They count, they read, they know sharps and flats. They do all the things right. She's done great work to make what I do possible. Um, we owe a great deal to her in terms of how this group plays and the other group plays and the numbers that we have here. Um, and we will miss her a great deal, but um, she's on to some great adventures. And uh, so thank you, Mrs. Benz, for everything you've done. In a situation like this, very often, someone will say, we've prepared a little something for you, but that is absolutely not true. There is a piece of music on your stands. You have some first violin, some second violin, whatever you've got, you're playing. Press the notes. Is your music necessary? Sure. You all got it, right? Is that all of us can? Okay, so this is sight reading, but you know, it's for you, Mrs. Ben. Good luck, everybody. <laughs>
I know for my birthday, I think, you know what I really should go do is watch a high school orchestra concert. Thank you for coming. And happy birthday. A concerto grosso is a piece for solo instruments, a group of solo instruments with orchestra. Uh, Ernst Bloch, uh, Ernest Bloch, sorry, was a Swiss composer who lived much of his life in Oregon. And uh, this is for piano and strings. So we have Katie Yoon, who is listed in your program as being a harpist because I did the program myself. Uh, she is a harpist, but she's playing piano for this. Normally we would discourage clapping between the movements of a piece, but I have to hand out some roses now, so bases will retune while I get flowers.
The basses had tuned their lowest string, the E string, down to a low D for the previous movement, and now are tuning it back up to an E for the last movement. It's not that they decided during the first movement that they should just tune, but you know. So these are some of the same people that were in the same sixth grade orchestra. Uh, so they are also wonderful people. They have been a great asset to the school and to our music department. Um, it went by quickly, my time with them, and I will miss them all again, as I said a few moments ago. But anyway, I have two faithful assistants, so uh, we're going to figure out how this works. So Emily and Miriam, grab a couple of roses and we're going to set you off on your different way. Let's start with the bass section, where we have Mitchell Law and Andrew Hill. <laughs> In the cello section, we have Elizabeth Boydock, we have Adam Norris, we have Tina Lonasa, and we have Morgan Sproul. In the viola section, we have two. That's Brooke Bowers and Caleb Bray. In the second violin section here, we have Ellie Tu. Joy Dom is, I Joy didn't get here. She's not here, okay, fine. Caitlin McLaughlin. No, Aiden 41. Great. Okay. So those two. So, okay, yeah, can we take flowers too? <laughs> and in this other violin section over here, we have Connie Yap. <laughs> Samuel Liu, yes, Olivia Seitz, yes. Ryan Price, who's going to get two? Ben Digby, <laughs> Justin Burkhart, and Alexa Marchinkowski. Also, there is someone else who has been here for the whole time. Um, she is listed in your programs as orchestra mom, life coach, spiritual guide, sign language interpreter for Mitchell Law. So that's Mrs. Brenda Rollison. Yes, take her. She's a sweetie. Seniors and Miss Law, please stand up for the acknowledge the applause for everybody. Thank you, assistant. Thank you again for coming this evening. Our final piece for tonight is another few, which if you were listening earlier, never mind, forget it. <laughs> Thank you again for joining us this evening. It's been a pleasure.